Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see about ADF copy behavior. If you are new to our channel, hit subscribe. Navigate to our channel Cloud Tech Academy and under playlist navigate to ADF playlist. Under this we have already uploaded several videos. Among this if you see we have uploaded part 1, part 2, part 3 till part 5. These are continuous video where we have explained various functionalities which are available while copying the file from one container into the another container. So I request you to watch all this video to get a complete knowledge on copy activity. There are three different options available under copy behavior, flatten hierarchy, preserve hierarchy and merge file. Let's see what are these. Consider the scenario that you have three different files inside an input container and one of the file exists inside a folder and if you are copying from one container to another container using preserve hierarchy option then the same hierarchy level will be maintained which means the file will be copied along with the folder as well this is the default hierarchy in case if it didn't specify any hierarchy it will follow preserve hierarchy method in case of flatten hierarchy the folder won't get copied instead all three files will fall under the same hierarchy and also the file name will be renamed which will be like data underscore followed by some unique GUID. In case of merge file option all three file will be merged into a single file and also file name will be renamed as data underscore followed by some unique GUID. This ADF we have created from our last video on wildcard. I will be posting the video URL in the description. You can just watch it. So if you see here, here we have selected wildcard and we provided the file format here. I will be providing uh, the URL to download this ARM template so that instead of creating from the scratch you can make use of the ARM template. As of now our input container is empty. We didn't upload any file as of now. Let me show. So our input container is empty. Let's upload the files. These are the file we are going to upload. So if you see the first file, it is containing a row from 1 to 4. So these are the record available in the first file. Let's close this. And in the second file, if you see, we have data from 5 to 8. So this is the our second file. Let's close this. And we have one more file under a folder, which is having a, a row number 9 and 10. So these are the three files we are going to upload to our block container. Let's get back to uh, our container in order to upload these files. So click on upload and select this folder option so that you can browse. Let me select both of the file so that we can upload it together. Yeah, first two files is uploaded but the third file we need to upload inside a folder. For that, let me navigate to the folder and select the file. Yeah, selected. Now in order to create a folder, so here we have an option like upload to a folder. So here whatever the name we want to provide for the folder, we can provide it over here. So I'm going to provide it as extra data. And that's it. If we upload, it will be created along with the folder. Yeah, it is created. Now let's switch back to our ADF. And under our source we have specified as wildcard with the file format so all three files will be picked up under sync if you see we have the option called as copy behavior below and if you click on this drop down you will see various option first is none uh, which means the default one none or preserve hierarchy both are same it will work in the same way if you have selected none or preserve hierarchy so let's run with the none. It is running. Yeah, it got completed. Let's navigate to our output container. And here if you see the hierarchy is maintained over here. So this is what preserve hierarchy or none. So both of them will work in the same way. Let's delete this. And since this is available inside the folder, we need to navigate and delete the file. Then only it will get deleted. Yeah. So all the files are deleted. Now let's try other methods as well. 
under copy behavior drop down let's select flatten hierarchy and now let us try to run this yeah it got completed now let's go to our output container and refresh three files are there either we could download this and we can see the data or click on edit so under edit option also you could preview the data so if you see this is our second file and uh, let's click on edit so this is our third file and the other one is our first file now let us try merge file option i have deleted the files from output container in the meantime now under the copy activity select the last method which is merge file and uh, let us try to run it click on the debug button in order to run it let's wait for some time for completion yes it got completed and now under our output container if you see only one file is there all those three files are merged into a single file let's click on edit see the contents of all three uh, files are available here file 1 file 2 and then file 3 all these content are there and that's it hope this video helped you to understand copy behavior in detail see you on next video bye bye Thank you for watching this video and I request you to subscribe my channel. Your subscription will motivate us to produce more video in better quality.